Here's a fun and simple watercolor Christmas card idea. It's beginner friendly because it's made up of just lines, circles, and leaf shapes, so grab some supplies and let's paint. First I'm cutting some watercolor cards out of a larger sheet of watercolor paper. This was an 11 by 15 sheet. I'm making the card square because the watercolor wreath will look better on a square card. So this one is 5 inches by 5 inches and I'm using a bone folder to crease that thick fold. Trace a round object lightly with a pencil onto the front center of the card. Here's a smaller 4 inch by 4 inch one I made too. Then just lightly erase the pencil lines. Here are the colors I'm going to be using for this wreath. First you'll need a brown branch color and then a green leaf color. This is like a sap green color. You'll also need a diluted bluish gray color and then a bright red for the berries. And then I'm also going to use a metallic gold watercolor to add a finishing shiny touch, but you can also use a gold pen. You'll need a small round brush. I'm using a Princeton Heritage size 4 brush for this. To start the wreath, use the tip of your brush and your brown paint color to go over the penciled circle again and outline it. And add little branches coming out from either side of the main branch so we have something to paint leaves on next. Now let's add the leaves. Use the second leaf green color to paint small basic leaf shapes onto each little branch. And if you've never painted leaves before, you can just use the tip of your brush to outline a basic leaf shape and then fill it in. Try to keep the green color fairly light so that the wreath doesn't start looking too heavy. Now we're going to use the light blue-gray color and just paint circle shapes in the spaces between the leaves. And you can make some of the circles smaller and bigger and vary the lightness of the paint that you use. Don't fill in every little bit of space because we're going to be adding berries next. Next, take your red paint color and just use the tip of your brush to paint small dots and sprinkle them throughout the wreath for berries. Now let's add the gold for a finishing touch. I'm using my favorite gold metallic watercolor paint. It's handmade paint from a small business and I'll put a link in the description. If you don't have gold paint, you can just use a gold paint pen or gel pen. I'm just adding more dots all throughout the wreath, but you can add gold details wherever you want to. And I also decided to sprinkle some extra gold dots around the outside of the wreath. And that's it! You can leave the card as is, or you could add a greeting or an initial inside the wreath. For this other smaller one I did, I used my paintbrush and the gold watercolor to add an initial in the center of the wreath. That shiny gold just makes it extra special. So there you have a really cute and festive Christmas wreath card. There's so much fun to paint and of course you can try different variations and different colors. Here's another one that I did before and you can see that I put a Merry Christmas greeting inside the wreath. And then of course this one with the gold initial and it looks really pretty too. So you can totally customize it however you like. These Christmas wreaths are so simple but so fun to paint. 
so I hope you give it a try.